I want to thank all the Ugandans who have been praying for me. I've been watching you praying for me at the, the uh, National Chairman's Office, Babaranda and Hadija Muzukuru, praying in uh, All Saints Church, praying in uh, signing the board here near the gate, and all the others who have been wishing me good luck. I, 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 I appreciate really. Uh, it's good to know that I, I am not as bad as some people try to make me, and that there are Ugandans who appreciate. When some people said I was in ICU, I think my, my ICU here is a good one, because it allows me to do one or two things, assisted by my comrade, Mama Janet, who is here, from a distance, from a distance, as you can see. Uh, safe distance. Cool. Next time when I, when I come to the TV, I, I will talk about Corona because now I am an expert and I'm also a veteran of, of, of Corona. So you count me among the veterans. You had your budget, Ugandans, of Uganda shillings, 52 trillion. While I support that budget because there is no other solution in the short run, it is important to know, Honorable Kasaja talked about it, but it should be highlighted, to know that sharing 17 trillion of that budget is to pay debt. Yeah. He, he talked about it towards the end of his speech. He, he talked about it. But it should be highlighted. The 52 billion trillion you are talking about, 17 trillion of it is to pay debts. Amavanja. Many of these debts were being pushed by the new colonial public servants until recently, when I put down my foot and insisted on approving every loan. That's why you hear that these loans take time now to be approved, because I insisted I must pro approve of a every loan, external loan. Because all this money was not, was not worth borrowing. If you audit it, it was not borrowed for, for a good purpose. The way forward, is that we should borrow less, and I'm glad the minister talked about that, or not to borrow at all. With the discipline, we do not have to borrow at all. URA is also still under collecting taxes. Those URA people, I saw Mr. Singh there in the, in the TV there, but they are also not doing a good work. Their tax GDP ratio of 13% is not serious. Been importing leather from outside. You can imagine, Amaliba, skins and hides. Until recently, when I built that uh, leather factory in Kaumu, our people were importing leather from China and from India. Now, this is where, and I was hearing all of you making speeches there, but I am begging you, all the NRM cadres, this is where history demands collective and cohesive action from the NRM cadres. Now that we have got an educated workforce, because now we have got, you, you saw what uh, Mr. Kaseja was saying that 80% of Ugandans now can read and write. You heard him saying it there. 80%, literacy rate, 80% from 43% are, are, are literate. Now that you have got an educated workforce, now that we have got enough electricity, now that we have got good roads, 
and that we are building or repairing the railway system. Here in the speech, I did not add, but Mr. Kaseya talked about it. We have got cheap money in UDB for industry. Every effort must be made to add value to all our products. Because this is what is lacking now. To add value to all our products. Add value to coffee. Please. Why? Because you will get money more than 10 times more when you add value to coffee than the way we are, we are selling it now. To cotton, timber, cocoa, even fish products, although the factories are producing fish, fillet, and so on, but we can add more value, apparently. Gold, we need more gold refineries. Iron ore, we don't want to sell iron ore and process to anybody. We need to sell steel, copper, vermiculite. There's a lot of vermiculite in Bugisu there. Phosphates, you can imagine we are crying that there is a war in Europe, so we can't get uh, phosphates now. We have phosphates here in, uh, in, in Tororo. Uh, the Chinese man who had come there, uh, our people stole money from him. He was stupid. He was giving bribes to, to idiots and thieves. He should have helped me to get them, and, and I would have hanged them. But we shall get other investors. So, adding value to phosphates, petrochemicals, maize, bananas, etc., etc. By doing this, this same economy will jump to US dollars 550 billion instead of the mere 55.2 billion. We are talking about laudable, though it is. I am happy to say, oh, we have gone to 55.2 billion, but I'm not satisfied. No. And I think in the other speech which I gave, on State of the Nation, I quoted the example of South Korea, and I was able to quote for you the, the economy of South Korea in 1961, I, ho I hope you can compare it with the Uganda of 1961. I think that time, in, that, in the other speech, I said the uh, economy of South Korea was two, two something billion. It is now almost two, two trillion. Imagine the literal South Korea has, has got a GDP half of the whole GDP of Africa, uh, of Africa, Tibaswara. Eh? South Korea is half half size of Uganda. 